Orchi. 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 Toyota? No? Uh, uh, Toyota. Hi, Toyota. Toyota. Hi, Toyota. Yes. Hi. Uh, How's Google Translate working out for you? Yeah. Jen Suchuryoku, huh? We are literally using Google Translate to understand exactly what is happening here because there's been a little bit of miscommunication. We thought that we'd be able to take the car out and drive, but it's sold or something about the license plate, they don't have the right registration. We're still negotiating for him. Pro photographer. Hiroki san. Your photos are amazing. We found him on Instagram, we're like, boom, we need to work with this guy. So we've all met up here at Mitsuoka. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to work out what we can do with this car because obviously we can't take an epic photo with the car in the showroom. We need to try and take it out somewhere, but this has been like a negotiation now for about half an hour. An hour. <laughs> an hour. <laughs> what we can do with the car and it's still just sitting in the showroom. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so uh, Mick's just that, written no? in, <laughs> in Google yeah. Translate. Can you explain what is happening in Japanese? Okay, now. Yeah. Yeah. え、今、え、ブロンディさんとえ、ニックと撮影しに。おお、社会の窓開いてる。お。おお、嘘ぺよ。It's the only bit of Japanese Nick knows basically. It's like the window of society is open and then that means your zipper is undone. That's why. <laughs> and he said it just joking and that seems to work here. As a joke. Yeah, made our way to Mitsuoka. It's a Japanese yeah, car company and they've actually made a supercar. And at this point, it is a little bit shady. Let's be completely honest here. I am not going to hit you with 100% accurate facts during this vlog. It's just not going to happen um, because of the language barrier. So this is what I know, kind of. They are a Japanese auto manufacturer kind of bodywork place. This one here, they don't actually make their own engine for this car, but this is the one that we've come to see. The Orochi. Orochi. Yes. Orochi. Yes. Orochi. Yes. And uh, it's a supercar, but they haven't got their own engine in it. They've actually got a Toyota engine. What they're aiming for with this car is to create a fashion supercar. So they are dead honest about this. It is just meant to look good. It has a 3.3 litre Toyota engine it's a v6 and they've just worked on the outside body to make it look super fab Yamata no Orochi Dragon, huh? How is it called? <laughs> Yamata no Orochi? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's an eight-headed dragon that's what they've modeled it from and eight tails I think it has as well mm. but let's get a pick up so let's find the eight heads where are the eight heads? Eight. One, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the heads. And then the mouth. Oh, look at that. That's quite cool. It's kind of smiling. This one is Sticker. going for... 8.9 million dollars. Yen. So what's that, $89,000? Around $89,000? About $80,000. $80,000? Yeah, so this is model year 2008. So this is the first one they came out with. They actually came out uh, with it as a concept car first in 2001. And then they kept working on that concept car until they actually put it into production in uh, 2006 to start with an 07 model. And this one's an actual, actually an 08 model. Oh, they're the eight tails then. Eight tails? Does the dragon have eight tails? <laughs> Wait, we'll go oh, translate. Oh, one tail. One tail, really? Hi. One tail. Look. And the spec. Oh, perfect. Oh, All in Japanese. This will help. <laughs> Maybe it's this one. 5,600 or <laughs> show, show model. Show model. Show model. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This one, so this is the concept, see, that they came out with mm. first, 2005. Mm. And then this is the actual one that went into production in 2007. Mm. And then 2014, they had their final model. Final model, and then 2015, no more. No more. 2014, 110. Ah, okay. Oh, I thought it was much higher than that. Okay, so yeah. uh, out of all of the models that they created over those seven years, they only created 110 for sale. 
So, okay, I think okay. we'll leave it there. No <laughs> issue. We can go now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Yay! 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 We're getting it out of the showroom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna be in the passenger seat, but I'm not allowed. This is like the most access I've ever been denied. <laughs> Deny! Denied! <laughs> so this is what it feels like to be just a normal person. So this is like, it looks easy what we do, honestly. Like I just go around the world and I get to drive all these cars, but actually in the background, there is a lot of work involved actually getting the keys to these cars and taking them out. And this is like probably the first time in a long time that I haven't been handed the keys. So I feel very despondent right now. I can't even get in the car. This is a new, new feeling for me. Um, and I think we're gonna finish the vlog right here, like. <laughs> It was all over we'll for a second. Outside. We'll sit outside. No, no, I no. Want to sit. Just go in the passenger seat and see what happens. My little vlogging camera, it's yeah. really subtle, so I can, yeah. I can use that one. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's in my bag. Yeah. This one. So I've got two, right? So this one I carry around everywhere because it just fits in my bag and in my pocket. This one's new. I just got it. RX100 Mark VI. And um, this is actually what I started out on. So highly, highly recommend this vlogging camera. If you're just starting out vlogging or you want to become a vlogger, um, this is how I started and I still have one with me today. I'll just show you a couple of things. Basically it's super light, right? And the cool thing is, is that you can flip this around, this screen, and this is how you um, know you're... Can we get out of the sun? I can't see anything. Um, over here. This is how you know that you're filming, you've got what you want in the in the frame. You can actually see it all up here on this camera. So you can just do selfie style and just be like, what's up, hey? I'm here filming an awesome car, boom, boom, boom. And then you flip this camera around and this is the newer feature with the newer model, right? You can flip this all the way down, out and down. So if you're filming something really up high, you can still see that you've got the car That's cool. in focus. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And this one, they've got an awesome zoom feature as well. They've updated the zoom. What should I zoom into? Come over here. Zoom into this J factory over there. Look at that. So I'm going to whip this one out in the passenger seat if he doesn't tell me to get out. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. I'll just hide it in my pocket for now. Alright, just sneak in the car now. Ah, okay. Only, you need... only one. Ah, only one, okay. You need to get out. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> he will not get in the car unless you get out. Maybe this is like a Japanese thing, like, you know, a man and a woman. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But mm. we're going to respect their wishes. So. Yes, yes, yes. Yay, we're going to watch the car drive. It's a first for me. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what it feels yeah. to be like you. You need to run alongside behind the car. Yeah, right? I'm always a runner, man. So we're going to do this together now. Now you know what it's like. <laughs> yeah, welcome Sucks. to my world. <laughs> Oh, there he comes. The eight-headed dragon is oh, getting yeah. out of the showroom. Woo! Mitsuoka! What's happening now? We're trying to take it out for a nice picture, right? We've got the most amazing photographer in Tokyo with us. And we've now had the car taken out of the showroom and into an even uglier location. 
parking lot. <laughs> which is a parking lot with a thousand other cars, uh, which is not great. So we're trying to convince him to park it down by this house because it has a beautiful Japanese tree. Um, and those two are off talking together and we've got our fingers crossed. Look at these rims. They like to pimp vans here. A lot. That is some... That, you know, there are a couple like Morgan looking cars yeah. in there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what else can we find? Okay, we're just going to have to film here because apparently we need all kinds of permissions to film somewhere else. So, um, just wanted to point out these eyes. They're also like dragon eyes with that line in the middle. You see that one? Actually, only this part comes down. So we just wind this down. Yeah. There's a little window button. And then wind down the window. It's just the baby window. Strata, Car Navi Station by Panasonic. Oh, thank you. Uh, so only this part winds down. They say they've done that just for design purpose. Okay, arigato gozaimasu. Look, it doesn't sound like a supercar when you turn it on. It doesn't have that kind of growl. It doesn't have the kind of engine capacity that you would normally associate with a supercar. Um, they've literally just built this so it looks pretty damn cool. It's not like the loudest car around. Let's just put it that way, all right? So we're just... Yep. Guys, I think it only has like just over 200 horsepower. Oh, there's Google Translate happening over here. <laughs> ah, you can drive forward and move it oh, in the fantastic. parking lot. The longer we stay, the more we're allowed to do. I think we should just stay <laughs> here for a few days. It's a Slow silent it's dragon. Huh? What? The silent dragon. Yeah, it's the silent dragon. It'll come get you when you're least expecting it. That's it. That's our experience with the Mitsuoka Orochi. 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 You're, not, you're not meant to pronounce the last bit. Orochi. Uh, and yeah and i hope you enjoyed <laughs> we got somewhere in the end give us a quick thumbs up please hit that thumbs up button right now subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we've got so much more cuffs got so much more cool stuff coming we'll see you on the next one i'm out love you